Good morning, class. Today we are going to finish up our Reader's Notebook Lesson 16 with pages 225 and 226. Today we'll be working on articles as well as reviewing, again, kinds of pronouns. Articles. The words the, a, uh, and an are adjectives called articles. The is a definite article because it points out a specific person, place, or thing. A uh and an are indefinite articles because they refer to any person, place, or thing. Use an before a noun that begins with a vowel sound. Here are some examples. A newspaper launched a new cartoon strip. The paper is a small hometown paper. An edition of the newspaper comes out every day. You can see in the beginning, a newspaper refers to any newspaper. A new cartoon strip could refer to any cartoon strip. The paper is referring to a specific paper. And then a small town could be any small town. An edition of the newspaper comes out every day. And an could refer to anyone. And that's also an indefinite. So again, indefinite articles are a and an. A definite article is the pointing out something that's specific. Use an when the word previous begins with a vowel. Our activity today. Write the correct articles to fill in the blanks. Reread all the sentences to be sure they make sense. Number one, before creating blank new karmic book, you have to come up with blank idea. So, before creating a new comic book, you have to come up with an idea. And you can tell that the second one needs to be an because the following word is idea and it begins with a vowel sound. Okay, a vowel, an I, so it has to be an. It's not a idea, it's an idea. Let's look now to number two. It is also helpful if you are blank artist who can bring characters to life. Well, this one, it is also helpful if you are an artist who can bring characters to life. And it's again, it's an because the word following is the word artist and it begins with a vowel, a. So it has to be an, not a. An artist. We'll go ahead and complete one more together. Let's look now to number three. Perhaps you want blank book to be about blank awesome hero. Well, when we say perhaps you want blank book, this is the book you are writing, so it's the book. And because it's, it's specific, so the book to be about an awesome hero. And the reason it's an again is because the word following is the word awesome, and it begins with an A, which is a vowel, so it's an awesome hero. All right, kids, you can go ahead and pause the video here and complete the rest four through eight on your own. And when you're ready to move on to the next page, 226, you can go ahead and click play. On page 226 today, kids, we are working on kinds of pronouns, okay? We have nouns, Brian and Curtis would be an example in the top. So Brian and Curtis go to the bookstore. The one who wants the book is Brian. And we have subject pronouns. They go to the bookstore. The one who wants the book is he. So you can see that when you have Brian and Curtis, they is the subject pronoun. When you have the one who wants the book is Brian, he is the subject pronoun that replaces Brian. Brian bought this book. Okay, Brian bought it. That would be an object pronoun. So when we have a subject pronoun, it's talking about the subject of the sentence. In the top, it's Brian and Chris. Okay? And in the bottom, when we have an object pronoun, it's talking about an object, something, and that's it. Okay? The book is it. Um, Brian bought it. Brian gave these books to Chris and Anthony. Brian gave these books to them. And in that one, that Chris and Anthony are not a subject pronoun is because Chris and Anthony are not the subject of the sentence. Brian is the subject of the sentence. All right, so circle number one through six says circle the pronoun in parentheses and then label the pronoun a subject or an object pronoun. Have you ever read a comic book or have her ever read a comic book? Well, it should be have you ever read a comic book. So you're going to circle the word you. And now you need to decide 
whether it is a subject pronoun or an object pronoun. And you is the subject of the sentence, so it's a subject, so you can write an S on the line. Let's go ahead and look at number two. The person who reads the most comic books is him, or the person who reads the most comic books is he. And in this one, we often get this confused. It's actually he. The person who reads the most comic books is he. And you can also look up here to see that there's an example of that right there for you to check out. But it is he. And this, again, is a subject pronoun. So we're going to write S on the line. Go ahead and complete number three together as well. Kathy listens to him talk about comic books or Kathy listens to he talk about comic books. Well, this one is him. Kathy listens to him talk about comic books. And the subject of the sentence is not him here, it's Kathy. So that makes this an object pronoun. And so you can put an O on the line for object. I'm going to have you complete 4, 5, and 6 on your own. Numbers 7 through 10, it says circle four errors in this paragraph and write the correction on the line below. Subject and object pronouns are misused. So you remember there's four. It tells you how many you need to find in this. And I'm going to read it to you, but you are going to be making the corrections, not me. But sometimes when you hear things, I tell you this over and over again, oftentimes when you read things like this out loud, when you're searching for mistakes, you can hear them pretty easily. In my favorite comic book, the images help show the character's superpowers. One of they can control the weather with her mind. Another character can walk through walls. Him is my favorite character. When I create a comic book someday, I will include a character like he. In my comic book, all of the superheroes will be able to fly to the planets in outer space in seconds. My sister can draw and paint really well. I guess her and I can work together, but only if she remembers that I am the boss. So listen to that, reread it, and find your four errors and circle them, and then write what they should be on the line below. When you finish today, take a picture of your work, attach it to the assignment, and turn it in on Teams. Thank you.